most commonly, I think photography websites lack enough text content. There's no text on the homepage. Any portfolio galleries don't have any text. It's just a grid of images. Services is just a pricing table with no mentioning of the experience of the services and all of that. There's no FAQ page. You need enough information, text information. You're also giving Google enough to chew on. And then I've also seen the other extreme where you can get too wordy and you can make people stop reading your content. Probably on the homepage, I consider this a bigger mistake, right? You have some sort of hero section, either a single image or a slideshow or a grid of images. Then ideally some sort of tagline, like a, a heading tag showing your specialty, your location and what sets you apart, what makes you different as a photographer. And then underneath, don't just put 10 paragraphs of text about you. It's not a bio. People will just scroll past it. It's a lost opportunity there. So too much or too little. It's hard to strike the right balance, but it comes down to user experience as well. Same with images or portfolio pages. If you have multiple specialties, let's say you're a pet photographer, but you're also a family photographer or, I don't know, maternity photographer, and you want one portfolio page for each. Those portfolio pages should just be considered as best of collections of your work. They're not a dumping ground of 100 plus images that people need to scroll over. No one will sit and watch through that. So 20, 25 well-selected photos can impress people a lot more than 100 photos if you choose them rightly. This is content curation. It's a skill you need to master. It's hard when you're emotionally attached to your own photos. You might need outside help, but it's important.